What is going on, YouTube? This is Ask the Roots. So I'm going to review Demi Lovato's album from the fall of 2015, and this project is called Confident. This is basically her fifth album, and I started to getting introduced more and more to Demi Lovato throughout 2013 with her hit album Demi, which actually had a pretty lengthy promotional cycle. That album lasted from about the winter of 2013 to about the fall of 2014 particularly because of songs like Heart Attack, which that was a pretty large hit single from her around that time. But it, it was kind of interesting that Demi crested and charted as heavily as it did, just because for the most part, albums were not typically lasting that long from, you know, over 18 months back in the 2010s and stuff. It was just kind of things were changing to like streaming. And things were kind of changing to streaming and more digital sales and that type of stuff. So it was just interesting to kind of get that. But this album... I haven't really talked about Demi Lovato much on Acid Roots, and I kind of want to make up for that just because I have messed with her music. I do know a handful of her albums. I remember the singles from this album. They charted, and the initial, when I first made this channel, Acid Roots, I remember a couple singles like Cool for the Summer and Confident. And Confident basically was like a staple on like makeshift television shows like Good Morning America and Morning Television and that type stuff. And I just remember two out of three of the singles from this project. It was pretty makeshift heavy for television and that type stuff. But I also kind of remember some other Demi Lovato albums in a slight sense. Like I kind of remember her 2011 album. I do remember Demi from 2013. And the album after this one, which was her 2017 album, I remember a single from that album, or at least a couple singles. So, yeah, that happened to be the concept. So I wanted to talk more about Demi Lovato and kind of get her covered more and be able to start messing with some of this music, because there is some good stuff here. And I'm starting to cover more artists that I haven't covered up to this point. And I don't like the concept of supposing that it's like, hey, you don't rock with Demi Lovato. It's like, no, I actually do. But it's just there's I've had so much on my plate and there's been so much going on with like music and that type of stuff. I mean, it just even doing reviews every single day, there's still folks that it could take months and months and months to get to just because, you know, you have to, you know, there's so much out. That's just kind of the concept. So yeah, Demi, eight years later is appearing on acid roots but just to kind of say uh this is a pretty stellar album i mean i definitely i like the singles on this project and it has a lot more to offer apart from that now i do feel like the typical makeshift demi lovato is just kind of different she kind of sheds she kind of sheds her old personality of being more of a tight-knit and kind of straightforward pop artist, which is good because I do like this concept of getting like some dance-heavy kind of Demi Lovato and some tunes kind of for the sense of being able to be recreational and more kind of uh, like lackadaisical in that sort of sense. Like Taylor Swift kind of did this also. She did this more in 2014, but... Prior to about maybe Taylor Swift's album Red or her 1989 album from 2014, she was pretty, she was relatively tight knit too. But it's just, I'm glad that Demi kind of shed some of that persona and started to loosen up a bit. There, this is an explicit album, so you can hear Demi Lovato cuss on here, and it's interesting to kind of get her kind of being more carefree in that sort of sense. So it's interesting to kind of get it. She was kind of a teen star. She was very similar to like Ariana Grande and Miley Cyrus and some of those folks. That's I mean I don't know and I don't know an overabundance about Demi Lovato's background in terms of her teen come up. I would have to say it seemed like she was very similar to Ariana and Miley Cyrus and some of them. But to talk about the singles, like the first single is "Cool for the Summer" and this is like a breezy kind of summer bop for the beezies out there. Definitely for just like some breezy summer bay kind of vacation type feelings. This is a very simple and lackadaisical kind of tune for that sort of sense, and I like how com I like how complicit that Demi Lovato kind of is. It just kind of makes for such an easygoing kind of uh, simple, this mellow kind of energy overall kind of song. I mean, it's it's not mellow in the sense of being down tempo, but it just is kind of more of like a bop. It, this is kind of like a simple summer bop that just carries over, has a strong hook. And it really reminds me of mall music. Like I was talking about Lord having a lot of mall music, but this is just one that you could hear at a strip mall and just kind of bop to with the tune and that type of stuff. And this is an easy kind of going one that's just easy on the ears overall. So this is a nice summer tune and just really kind of one of Demi Lovato's most cookie cutter, simple, and just overall easy kind of hit kind of tunes. It's just kind of 
factory made it, but it's not like a simple tune. It's not like a basic kind of tune from Demi, but this is kind of easy going in the sense that it was just kind of an easy hit for her, but it worked and it's pretty catchy. So the second single is Confident, and this is one I remember hearing a lot on like Good Morning America and morning television and this news programming and that type of stuff, this stuff that's kind of makeshift television, kind of prompt makeshift kind of stuff. And this one is kind of something I could see being played at like a sports game, like at a basketball court or someplace, some sports venue, something like that, some kind of competition. This is kind of Demi in a more kind of competitive and spicy sense. And this is actually kind of a decent bop for that. It's just very com compete-like and not quite as, we're, like I said, we're cool for the summer. It's kind of more carefree and kind of easygoing. I feel like confidence a lot more spicy and kind of competitive and just in that sort of sense. But this one is a pretty popular song. This is definitely, both of these singles could be played on like the makeshift kind of blue collar radio. These are pretty simple bops to be able to do that, but they're just kind of a lot more recreational. These kind of feel more like date night or hangout session kind of tunes more so than just completely at work like some of the other ones that she's dropped previous to this album so it's kind of it's good to get that the third single is stone cold and i like this song just because it, it's a down tempo kind of piano ballad it reminds me of something that adele would do or sam smith would do or even kelly clarkson on one of her saddest days something like that just a real kind of sluggish kind of sobering kind of down tempo kind of tune you've heard these type piano ballad type tunes before but it just works i mean this is probably like this one didn't really chart that heavily it just didn't do as as electric as like the first two singles off this album but i do see the art of it i mean typically i don't really go for these kind of soul and kind of piano ballad type tunes but i do like the lyrics in this song as far as being able to say that this is kind of like a sobering tune that happens to work just because of that power of the lyrics that demi kind of conveyed on here so it's just kind of one where i mean for the most part when you get these piano ballads it's usually something that's sobering in a sense that it just kind of winds up being hammy but this one's just kind of a real eloquent demi lovato that just captures like what she was trying to convey on this project so that's a nice one i mean it's not one i would play at a dance club or on a friday night or something but it just has that kind of sense just for a different kind of valve of energy if you're looking for that so but yeah, there's 11 songs on this album. I'm going to recommend to you seven out of those 11. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend those songs. Those seven songs would be Confident, Cool for the Summer, Old Ways, Stone Cold, Wildfire, Kingdom Come, and Waiting for You. So to talk about some of these, like Old Ways is kind of like another kind of sluggish melancholy kind of tune very similar to stone cold only only thing about old ways is it's just kind of a mid-tempo bop has a little bit more of kind of like a breezy kind of autumn type feel towards it. it's not quite as haunting and sobering as stone cold but it definitely kind of feels just like a kind of glum and soul and kind of tune but it just kind of is about demi lovato ditching her old ways and kind of you know sticking it to the man and saying hey i'm not gonna fall for the same stuff and that sort of stuff but it's kind of just kind of an empowering kind of tune that's kind of why I, I i like this song but it's just kind of more empowerment like demi lovato does a lot of soul searching on this album where she is kind of it just felt like she kind of transformed on this project where she does kind of make it contemporary but a lot of the songs that i liked on this project were not just kind of breezy kind of bops like cool for the summer and confident there's just some stuff on here that just has like a different kind of appetite where you're getting like a different kind of diet as opposed to just stock kind of dance songs and recreational jovial kind of songs so this is kind of the concept of old ways is one of those another song that kind of has a little bit more feralness to it is waiting for you where both demi lovato and the sira chick on here both sound particularly annoyed and demi lovato and sira both sound particularly annoyed and pissed off on this particular song so it's interesting to kind of get that but this is definitely kind of a spotify type tune this is one that seems like a streaming kind of real hit this sounds something real contemporary and just kind of like yeah i mean some of these like waiting for you is just kind of like a kind of chilly kind of ghoulish but still kind of like decent kind of moody kind of tune i, I like the concept behind waiting for you it's just kind of a nice one and I would have to say that Kingdom Come is kind of like a club song from Demi Lovato. I really like the kind of pace of this one. This beat just kind of oozes, and it really kind of feels like pop trap in a lot of ways, like Demi Lovato kind of trying her hand 
at like 2010's trap music just with like some glitteriness and like the chorus and Iggy Azalea fits on this song pretty well but it's just kind of out of the ordinary to get Demi Lovato kind of on like a dance club kind of or a club kind of tune just kind of in like a rap sense so this is interesting this was different for her to kind of do but I like the concept of seeing Demi Lovato kind of on like a club bop yeah, I feel like Kingdom Come has like a really pulsating beat, but it just kind of oozes out also. It just has like a real kind of charismatic kind of feel towards it. And Demi and Iggy Azalea, Demi Lovato and Iggy Azalea do a real good pairing of teaming up on this one. This has like some good chemistry and the production, the singing and all that stuff on the song really make it with a powerful emphasis. And then Wildfire is another nice one. This is kind of more of a jovial song. This is the only real jovial one. In terms of like stepping out apart from like cool for the summer. I mean confident kind of is but that one's just kind of more of a spicy one. But, but Wildfire just really feels like a night out. A fancy kind of glissy kind of night out. Just as far as going out and appreciating like the city lights and date night and that type stuff. Just kind of seeing the fancy things and flashiness and that sort of stuff. Just kind of an expressive kind of one. Definitely could be like an expensive dinner or something like that. But yeah, I, I, I like the energy of this one. I could have probably used another song like Wildfire. I, pr I could have probably used another song like Wildfire. But the thing about this album is it's very like quick and to the point. That's just kind of the thing. Like there's 11 songs on here. So there's only so many types of songs for each particular topic. Like the two brief singles that are up tempo and with it are kind of quick and snappy. And then Stone Cold is kind of like the round rounds out the album and it's kind of another single but it's the more serious one there's just not enough room for like a fourth single and seeing some other stuff like i feel like this album has a lot of conveyed topics on here but in terms of like getting some more dance club kind of moments or something with a lot more frivolity it just doesn't really have that i mean it does like i me liking seven songs out of 11 that really showcases that there was some strong stuff on here but like old ways stone cold and waiting for you are kind of more dark and kind of more melancholy kind of tunes or abrasive kind of tunes and then kingdom come is kind of somewhat gloomy also so i really feel like the only three songs that really have like really only two songs with like the jovial kind of dance club heaviness that they need would just be wildfire and cool for the summer and then confidence is kind of like a spicy competitive date night kind of tune but that's just kind of the concept about it so there's just kind of like some Maybe not so much patchiness, but just kind of like the emphasis just doesn't get met wholesomely because this album is so short lived. So it's just kind of like you want like at least another song or two for each type of valve, but it just is very snappy. And as a result, it just kind of leaves you more hungry. And I think that's just kind of the context about it. But to talk about some of the songs I didn't enjoy, like for the most part, it was mainly like the more kind of overbearing, hammy, and kind of super kind of emotional kind of songs that just didn't connect with me like for you lionheart and father all kind of had that for you lionheart and father all kind of had those overbearing kind of down tempo and just overall more kind of hard on your sleeve this kind of gushiness that this was not had didn't have like too strong an emphasis for me i mean father was just kind of like typically almost felt like a praying song and then Yes was just kind of like, this one was kind of pop, but it almost felt gospel-like. I mean, this one just had like a, a kind of an odd gesture as far as that kind of went. It was just different. Yes was just kind of like a jovial kind of tune, but this was a lot more like peppy. And it, it just, the peppiness, and it just kind of felt something like an awkward kind of almost gospel tune, but not quite. It just kind of felt very jovial and peppy, but just not within the context of like a typical dance type tune it, it just didn't feel like a pop tune like it's it's probably the most odd duck of like the songs out of these 11 songs on this album just kind of it was, it was just kind of an awkward song overall for me it was yes but yeah so me liking seven songs out of 11 on here i'm gonna go ahead and give this album like an 8.25 out of 10 because i feel like that's extremely good but it's just kind of the concept of just some odd kind of down tempo and more kind of overbearing kind of songs that down that bog down the score and then also kind of like this the lack of dislike and then another thing about it is it's just kind of thin in terms of like quality of like dance club kind of cuts like there's enough hits on here but it's so like such a small project that you only get like one or two songs for each type that you like like i feel like date night songs would kind of be confident and wildfire 
Cool for the Summer is one of the few kind of breezy kind of songs on here. Old Ways and Waiting for You are kind of more just kind of soul searching and just kind of empowering kind of songs. And Kingdom Come is about the only club song on here. So this is kind of the concept about it. And Stone, Clo Stone Cold is kind of sobering, too. So it's just kind of, you get some songs on here, but for the most part, the mood is very, just kind of all over the place. And that's just kind of the concept about it. Um, you get some good songs on here, but the mood about it is just not as central as what you may like. And I think that's just kind of the concept. It. I mean, it has some good moments, but a lot of this is kind of Demi going through some soul searching and just kind of differential moods. So where, when you want her, if you really connected with her with like for the summer or even like the spiciness of confident there's just not an overabundance of songs because this is kind of like so yeah there's some kind of down tempo and kind of overbearing songs that kind of downplay the score and then also on top of that like the kind of mismatched kind of moods on this project kind of detract from the overall quality that could have been now i know i'm saying that i gave this album an 8.25 so it didn't detract that much but it's just kind of the concept that I do feel like if Demi had packed this album full of songs like Confident, Cool for the Summer, and Wildfire, we probably would have had something that probably would have been, especially if it would have had like 13 or 14 songs, it would have had a few more gems, but this album is pretty short for one thing. This album is pretty short for one thing, and then to add to that, the concept of only getting one or two type songs for each type of mood when there's a lot of moods on this project really means that you just don't get enough moments of the best qualities that Demi showcases, which I feel like she really nailed, she really struck oil with Cool for the Summer, Confident was a pretty strong kind of competitive spicy tune, and it just, these type things are not really exploited and it just kind of felt like she kind of went on to the next gesture without like capitalizing on something that she could have had a sweet spot for so that's just kind of the concept there as far as saying that but regardless it gets an 8.25 which is pretty damn solid the social score though i'm gonna to have to say i'm gonna to have to give the social score like a 5.75 out of 10 because there is some quality on here but I'm going to give the social score a 5.75 out of 10 because it does have some good moments, but the kind of sporadic kind of moods of this project kind of do not make it like a wholesome victory in terms of like dance club and kind of social kind of moments where it's just kind of like there's a lot of varying kind of degrees of things that kind of happen here. Like I feel like Confident, Cool for the Summer, and Wildfire kind of have like some of those social type feels, but there is some ruminating and other kind of insular and kind of more isolated topics on here that just kind of make for a different gesture there's some ruminating insular and kind of isolated gestures that kind of make for a more kind of singular kind of feel towards it so that's just kind of the concept but i would have to say 5.75 social in terms of the future like in terms of the future demi lovato just put out an album in 2022 and she had another album that she put out in 2021 so she is kind of back on her vibes i'm gonna to have to see about some more of these but i did like the overall quality of this project it is this kind of varying moods that kind of go along with it but there is some strong stuff throughout this project pretty much